up here and blind the support with a Blitzcrank, then, uh, you know, yeah, 100% win rate. I wonder who is in <laughs> those games. Maybe that Lahens guy. Yeah, or Garen. Garen! <laughs> yeah, just, uh, just play Garen instead, of course. Um, now, is it going mid? Yeah, that's the, is the question. question. Are we getting top Corky? I mean, I think that makes sense because you have a melee champion in the mid lane that's going to be... <laughs> <laughs> so I'm guessing <laughs> Uni Bank Summer Playoffs. We are ready for game number two. Smack over the head, I guess. It looks like a sword you'd give a child <laughs> to play with, you know? Yeah. Plastic lightsaber. It's made out of foam. Yeah. But uh, obviously that. root. And then maybe they could do something. But if, if Keen just Valkyries it, then I mean, he doesn't care. And also, Kingen is just not really a champ, but he does have Ghost. There's the Valkyrie. Keen will flash straight into the root, and the Olaf's on top of him, and Keen is just so dead. There's Sets no up first blood here for King. Oh! oh! Wow, that was sick. And now, instead, Moham is able to flash in front of it, and he will have to give his life for the kill. That hook was definitely going to hit aiming. Once again, run away with the macro. Hard to engage here as D plus, though. You really need to get value out of this Olaf in this fight. And once again, Amy waiting. Is not here. So it's just a 5v4 in favor of Gen G. They try to go in on Olaf. That's not a good choice for Canyon. He might just die. He's dead. Down he goes. Now Keen trying to Valkyrie away. Remember, he doesn't have flash. He's going to go down. Double kill here for King in. As now trying to frontline with the Garen, but out comes Daisy and Gen G. Gonna have to abandon ship, but there's another route that comes in. A triple kill for King and Zolov. And Aiming's just farming bot the whole time. Yeah, when everybody can just follow oh, up on that, the yeah, Ivern, yeah, yeah, yeah. it is massive. You have a melee about composition about. with the Nasus and the Olaf. Let's look at uh, this glacial. Uh, about the no flash here for the Corky. Slowed, uh, taken down. There you go, there you go. Well, that's it. But, that that is, is, yeah. but then? But then? <laughs> And look, look at them all just open melee. He's like, whoop! Okay, okay. <laughs> That's Ivan, yeah. baby. Yeah, I don't know either. So he's just kind of running at him. Now, Kingen, I don't think he really cares. And Tenji are just not respecting the Olaf at all, as now, finally, we're going to have a satchel to deal with this. I mean, he's got Ghost. Got to respect this champ. Yeah. At least the ult doesn't last for too long early on, as now, oh, that knockback on a Lucid stops the hook from coming in, but it doesn't matter, as it's still going to be the kill. And now King and no ghost, no flash, no ult. He can't get away now, as this is going to be a huge shutdown. They're going to give over to someone. It should be Keen, as eventually, surely, okay, he does take him down. 600 gold and a free turret down in the bottom side. It's all fun and games when you're getting plates topside for aiming the Gold King until your bottom side is left out to dry. And as much as we said, oh, they should respect King in there, because it's true, he has Ghost, he has ult. If he uses those tools, then he's diveable. And now the satchel's going to come through, and that is going to be first brick for Gen G on top of the shutdown. And we see a 2,000 gold swing back now into their favor, as Lehens will also pick up his 5,000th assist in that moment. Big way. And I think it was a bit of a surprise that Keen was down there, right? But obviously they knew he wasn't topside because they were pushing the turret there. Can we dive a Garen? That's a good question. I don't think so. <laughs> well, we're going to figure it out here at the LCK. The answer is absolutely not. Not even close. <laughs> Maybe with Lucid. I, I think with Lucid, follow up here, probably you get him. Maybe. Well, that's going to be an axe to come in. There's the root as well. Joby in a bit of trouble. And the knockup comes in from Daisy. And finally, they do take him down. But now counter dive up on the top side. Can we dive Nasus? The next question, this one much easier, although a lot of damage did go into Canyon. That is going to be a kill going over to Pace. Quickly as they do. I have on Like, we're showing Toby's first person view here. And he makes that call and those the pings on the top side on the minimap instantly. As they go through and make the play. King and dies here. Oh. oh. Yeah. I didn't even realize he's that's it. Dang. You guessed it. It's going to be another turret for Gen G. Yeah. I mean, trading turrets against the Ziggs, never a good idea. Diving a Garen in general, not the best idea. They make it work, but it doesn't feel like they're trading up in any way. That's another turret that goes over to Gen G. So much gold already in the pockets of Gen G here. 
And I mean, for Sh Showmaker in that moment, like he can't flash the Maokai ult. He's gonna get hit by it no matter what. So he just kind of has to sit there and die. And there is no cross map. Lahens in a little bit of a rough spot here. Probably gonna go down. DK, nice catch onto Lahens, who did have flash, but did not elect to utilize it. And that's gonna be Rift Herald going over the side of DK. Of the yeah, Devil it is just right on, in front of our screens, showcasing the lead he has over aiming right now. And BT is so valuable, obviously, into this comp, but Hens is playing a game here with Moab, and yeah. Moab loses. I mean, they're going to hook up Poppy. Generally not a good idea. The knockup comes in, but Genji are on the escape. The ult comes out from the Olaf, and down will go the Hens. It's now Redemption as well. Genji, they play with fire, and DK, they say bring it, and they're going to get another double kill here for the side of Kingen, who now has eight kills. Yeah. I mean, look, Moam was the loser of the mini game of trying to avoid the hook, but I feel like he was the winner in the end because looking at the Poppy means a big front line, 40 plus, and now they're going in. Yeah, another root here on a Canyon who is very tanky. Down will go the Ivern and Chovy. Can they kill him is the question. Poppy, Moham is in the Rift Hell, goes in, and will just die. He does trade himself for the Garen. I guess that's worth, but now aiming, very awkward spot, has to trade flashes with Pays who threatened the, uh, well, Satchel engage. Yeah, Satchel knockback there would have definitely done him in, so good flash. Can't cleanse that one. So he ends up uh, taking him down there, or taking his flash down there, that is to say. Yeah, Lucid just getting ulted there by the Garen. I don't really agree with Moham. I mean, yeah, he trades his life for a Garen, but the kill still goes over, and he's currently, I, I guarantee you, even if Genji loses this game, that will change, but at the moment, leading the damage charts at over 10,000, nearly 11,000 there, Gein, I don't know, has some teammates nearby? Yeah. But I think this turret just goes down. They're gonna try to ult to save it. All right, well, that's the root, and that's the hook underneath the turret, and max range doesn't matter. You get rooted, you get hooked, and Moham trying to disengage with the zone ult is not successful. Yes. And obviously the follow-up to Lucid's root. Oh, oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, not again. Moham. Moham, he's got flash. He's actually trying to set up a play. Redemption on top. There's a bullet time. And, well, Moham does go down in the end. Daisy will not get her revenge. In fact, uh, this is gold given over to Keen at the end of the day. Absolutely can to man this, but... Canyon, will he scout? He's got sapling. He's just going to control ward it. They know, but they need to show up. He has TP, but he's a Ziggs. They might be in trouble here, Valdez. TP coming through as well from Showmaker. Yeah, definitely trying to force this one. Gen G, they want to do something about it. Canyon doesn't have his ult. The knock up here on a Moab. Not a lot of damage. Oh, comes in on two aiming. And Garen is in the back line. Down will go aiming. And the damage is just way too much. Gen G, they get the punish. And it looked a little bit iffy, but now the Baba over the top as well. Ziggs will not be defeated. And now the two of them trying to get away. They do huddle up against the wall like they're in the cold winter, but in the end of the day, it is a big fight win to the side of Genji. Uh, Chovy respawns in 25 here, but I think they definitely can take this Baron. Clearing out vision now. It's Ivern with no flash on the other side. Good luck stopping Genji, good luck stealing. They don't even need to have that much control, but Lens has it here in the choke point. If Lucid steps too close, he will die, and they will get the Baron, so. A little bit concerned about him walking up here. Don't do it, Lucid. Don't do it, man. <laughs> you I have so much to live for. They need to him out. It's 10 out of 13 KP this game. Yeah, I, I think especially his positioning, like he was in five players. Threads the needle, as you mentioned. He gets the per Classic Lahens, and the kills are close, but the map control is not. Uh-oh. Uh oh oh no. <laughs> Again! Oh, Showmaker, he gets rooted at the very end of the Maokai ultimate, and it's just set up on a T for Lahens once again, who presses the Q, and they have the damage from ahead. And this is what this composition does. And right now, Lehens, for this game, career is 8-1 and one on the Blitzcrank. And it's looking like he's going to turn it into a 9-1, and one, 90%. With uh, the setup he's been given by Canyon. Some quick math there, Wolf. Yeah. Nicely done. Yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes you can do math on the game. <laughs> When it's, when it's, you know, base Kingen? number 10. Here comes Kingen, uh, you know, the issue is, yeah, the Olaf is huge and he himself is really fantastic into this, but he's alone. Nobody else can really follow up on him. We, we saw Showmaker pull out the Nasus uh, against BNK. It got a win and maybe they're saying, okay, maybe we can, 
utilize this again, but not into this team, not in the Chovy. King instead um, trying to go head to head against Chovy's Garen down two levels. King in bursts into laughter because there's not really much else you can do at this point. In game two is, it's, I mean, it's done. BK, they, they don't have an angle. Yeah, Showmaker hands off the keyboard here. Look at him just stand and watch. Chovy's just like, all right, well, I'm just going to keep pushing. My team has full control of mid. That inhibitor's down. He's got Mortal Reminder as well. Nobody's healing in this game. Nobody's healing. Nobody's doing damage. Everybody is, however, getting hooked, as aiming will avoid this one. Yeah. But uh, I think playing, you know, MF in the last game could have been very nice in this game. <laughs> This doesn't feel nice at all. No, Chovy's just gonna solo this and hit bottom while the rest of his team systematically destroys the top. The well, inhibitor will survive. On the gate. Yeah. All right. Oh, this is the angle. All right. They they have the flank, and now they're just gonna try to engage on the aiming, who is kind of frontlining here. But oh boy, here comes Garen, and the six bomb over the top, and aiming just doesn't get to play the game. And my hands, he's going to taunt Olaf away from the team fight. So that's going to win it there. As Gen G, it almost looks like they're playing solo queue at this point. It's so one sided. Yeah, Chovy didn't even have to ult in that last uh, kill onto aiming. Not sure who he ulted ultimately here, but somebody died, I think, off camera while we were watching King and try to chase the hands. <laughs> Oh, the game is over. It's 2 0 for Gen G. This is a playoff best of five, everybody. Because you just know, man, we came into the series thinking maybe there's a chance, maybe this goes five again. It's D plus versus Gen G. That's what history has showed us for the last few years, but not this year and not this season. Gen G with a massive, massive stomp in game two. Arguably more one sided than the first, but I mean, that's. Is, yeah. I,